I'd like to bring in our experts from Silver Sea. These are not only partners in the industry, but longtime friends of mine. It's closing in on a decade of friendship that we have worked together, uh, and they are trusted partners. And this is the vice president of Silver Sea Sales. Uh, this is Joe Leon. Joe, welcome to our webinar today. So good to see you. Good to see you, my friend. I wish I were in person, but that'll be soon as well. That's right. We have spent many a time together in person. This is the next best thing, kind of. Uh, I guess I would say in person on a ship would be the best thing. Uh, in yep. person in a ballroom would be the next best. This will have to suffice for right now. But I'd also like to bring in Cindy Litzy. She's the business development manager for Arizona and California and more than that for Silver Sea Cruises. But she is our direct contact and works with us every day to make sure our clients, their guests are well taken care care of and that there's no issues or problems and everything goes perfect. Cindy, good to see you today. Oh, wonderful to be here. Thank you, Ryan. And thank you all for attending today. We're so excited to present Silver Sea to you and Bon Voyage Travel is truly a Silver Sea partner. We love working with the travel advisors at Bon Voyage. So thank oh. you. Thank you for joining us. And I, I can tell you this, the viewers are not here to see me, Joe. They're here to see you. So I'm going to bow out. Let's get started. Let's talk a lot about Silver Sea. Great. Thank you, Ryan. And again, thank you to all of your customers and your wonderful advisors. Thank you for all of the wonderful years of support. Uh, and we're happy that we're here today to talk to you about what the future looks like for Silver Sea, what our current environment is, what our plans are to set sail. And then like Ryan mentioned, we have an exclusive offer that's available only to the customers of Bon Voyage Travel. So with that said, we've got a lot to cover. I'll go ahead and get started now with a uh, short video. It's when all your senses become aware. You are present in focus. That's traveling to me. It's an urgent need to go and observe this world that we all share. A ray of light, a pair of eyes that tell a story, an instant of perfection. Images printing on your soul. This is authentic beauty. out there and trust me there's always room for discovery you just got to stay curious so i love starting our presentations with that video it really speaks to the essence of what our brand is all about and it is really about what's most important to you and that's destinations and how we carry you to destinations how we visit them and how we set you to explore these destinations we'll talk a lot about in, in depth about what that is but it also really reminds us that we're in this together we have a planet that we all share and in today's environment this is the one event in history that i can think of where everyone was affected in some way shape or form by the same event across the entire globe and one of the things that we did as an industry, which I'm so very proud of our leaders, is we've come together and we have uh, agreed on uh, strong protocols for the future. Uh, and, and we're getting ready to release what those protocols are as soon as our friends at the CDC are able to give us the clearance. But just so that you know, we haven't been sitting on our hands. We've been working really hard over the last six months to make sure that we preserve this unbelievable experience that we've been able to deliver for the last 26 years and that we do so in a safe manner. And so I show this picture because the ships were laid up early in May um, in Tenerife and we were able to simulate what your life is like on board. Basically what we did was we shifted crew members around. We were able to staff passenger suites up to 100% uh, occupancy, staff our crew stations at 100%, and simulate several days at a time what your life would be like. Go ahead and uh, perform breakfasts, lunches, dinners, uh, all of the big draw events that we have, the public events like the Captain's Cocktail Hour and some of the entertainment events that we feature in our venues. And what we learned was that space is the most basic promise that we make to you. We really are built for something like this. And when it comes to interfering or, or bringing down and diminishing the experience that you expect from a luxury line like Silver Sea, I can tell you that it's gonna be very well preserved. Uh, there are gonna be areas where we are going to have to ask at the get-go to wear masks in certain areas like the elevators where it can't be avoided to social distance. 
And all of these recommendations came uh, from our healthy return to sale panel. Now, uh, I mentioned how we were all in this together and the industry's leaders have come together in agreement. One of the things we did, our parent group, Royal Caribbean Group, which we are the luxury brand for Royal Caribbean Cruise Line, uh, Royal Caribbean Group, partnered with, Royal, with Norwegian Cruise Line Holdings, uh, who is the parent company for Regent Seven Seas. And we created this healthy return to sailing panel. Uh, this panel made up of eight professionals in their respective fields, everything from marine architecture to the different fields uh, in biology, and then of course in the medical fields, and as well as our marine operations folks and, and executives. And the idea was to assess what our current protocols are and give us the recommendations on how we can continue to improve and, and create an even safer environment. Um, for many years, we've promised you that cruise ships are the safest and cleanest places on earth. We stand behind that statement more today than ever before. And we've gone out and made a huge gesture and a big promise to you, our customers. The entire industry has promised to test 100% universally on all, uh, all passengers that will board a ship on a given sailing, all crew members uh, that will board that ship, as well as all the contractors and land operators that you'll come in contact at ports of call that we'll be visiting. Uh, we will have sanctioned excursions and uh, offered excursions uh, that will take you to the places that you're most interested in visiting and the excursions that you're most interested in booking. Uh, we'll make sure that we have all of that but these details are to be released but you should know that when it comes to the luxury brands and on the luxury side uh, we feel confident and that we are going to be able to deliver a healthy and safe environment one that's going to be able to deliver all the comforts and expectations you have of a luxury experience so with that I want to move on and talk to you about what is the Silver Sea difference, because there is a difference. There's uh, there's a lot of great luxury cruise lines out there. Uh, we all featured unbelievable ships, spacious suites, uh, marble appointed bathrooms, walk in closets, uh, wonderful staff, the, the most attentive and smiling faces you can find at sea and some of the best cuisine you've ever had, whether land and sea. And all of us have the right to really believe that we're the best in those respective categories. But something has to make us different. And I can tell you here at Silver Sea, at Silver sea there is is one big uh, differentiator and that's destinations. Now that might sound a little silly to you because we're all cruise lines and that's our business is we take folks to places. But the truth is we sail to over a thousand different ports of call in a single year. That's more than double any cruise line in any market of the industry. It's not just the 500 ports of call that we call on on expedition, the really neat places like Antarctica or the hard to get to places like the Galapagos or even the Russian Far East, but it's how we call on our classic ports as well. It's how we call on London and the fact that we sail from the Tower Bridge on the two smaller ships or we sail from Greenwich, but it's never from Southampton. It's so very important that our customers are able to experience the cities that they sail in and out of. Too often we look at this as the ships as just a means of transportation, just a vehicle of getting you there instead of part of the destination experience. And we wanna make it part of the destination experience wherever possible. So when we pull into St. Petersburg, we dock at the English embankment, just a few blocks from the Hermitage. Now I can assure you that is the biggest difference in experience of having the Hermitage as the backdrop to your breakfast uh, instead of being at an industrial port. These are the small details, uh, the important details we take when planning our itineraries throughout the world. And what what makes us different from every luxury cruise line out there. We not only call on more ports of call than anyone else, we do them differently and we invest more to make sure that your experience there is different. So this is what the deployment is going to look like for 2021. Um, I'll talk a, a bit about what the summer months look like. We'll touch a bit on the Arctic and then I'll touch uh, in detail on some of the expedition that you'll find in the Antarctic and in the Galapagos. But as you see here, the Mediterranean, that is our home sea. Uh, we are an Italian cruise line. We have an Italian heritage. Uh, our founders were Italian. And, uh, and so that is our home sea. And you see that we have almost 60 voyages featured there uh, throughout the summer months. So many, many wonderful options for you to choose to sail to the Mediterranean and anywhere else on the globe. As you saw in the previous map, we like to think if land meets ocean, uh, chances are that uh, we can take you there at some point throughout the year. Now, how do we take you there? With destination being the differentiator, we take you there on the largest luxury fleet at sea today. We operate eight, soon to be nine, in just a few days, we'll take delivery of the beautiful Silver Moon, which you see down here. She's gonna be 600, 596 uh, passengers, and she'll make up the fifth of our classic vessels and the ninth in the fleet. As you can see here, the size that we range in, on the fleet from 608 passengers is the largest, 
down to 100 passengers, but all of our ships are narrow enough to make most turns uh, up most rivers in Europe. Uh, we sail under the small causeways in the Caribbean to bring you into those small and hard to get to ports of call. Um, and, and, and again, with the expedition, you have the size of 254 square feet, which you see on the cloud, soon to be converted to silver wind to the same size. And down to the 100 passengers that we feature weekly in the, in the Galapagos sailing on the Silver Origin, which, by the way, we just took delivery of. Uh, we made, I think we're the only cruise line this year to take delivery of two ships, not just one. So a little bit, a little glimpse at the inside of the ship, you know, we, we tell you that we carry few passengers, but what we do have throughout the ship is this wonderful sense of space. Uh, we have large areas uh, and, and larger than what you would expect, considering the amount of passengers that we carry. Here you see um, some of the uh, great public areas like Dolce Vita, which is really the nerve center of the ship. When you walk in, this is going to be your main reception area. Uh, and, and there's going to be the cop captain's cocktail hour is going to be featured here. We have some live entertainment in the evening and a real great gathering place, as you see here. But this is a theme throughout, right? This great sense of space that you get on these relatively small ships. You know, we carry few passengers. These are large ocean going vessels. And the Arts Cafe, quickly becoming the most popular place on the ship. Um, you find customers it tucked away, reading their books, enjoying a, a, a light snack, sandwich, small salad, uh, and a coffee throughout the day. One of my favorite places, too. I just love the color scheme we've used throughout. welcoming and inviting uh, while still providing an opulent and luxurious feel to it. Uh, really uh, proud of our Marine Operations Department. And you can see here, this is what the new Arts Cafe will look like on the moon when she's delivered uh, in just a few days. And of course, the spa and spacious pool decks, as you would expect. You know, we'd like to think that we're able to offer you all the amenities in public areas that you would find on the larger ships, just without the crowds and on a smaller scale. So we also take the live, I mentioned the Silver Origin. I'll show you a quick video. We uh, went ahead and ran the first ever remote sea trials when we took delivery of the ship because it was in the middle of the pandemic. The hoops in Rotterdam never shut down. So the ship was delivered perfectly on time. Um, and uh, so enjoy this video and walk through of the ship. Oh, sorry, uh, not quite yet. Uh, I got to talk to you about our, our suites first on the Silver Moon. Now on the expedition si uh, uh, side of things, the, the suite sizes may vary. On the classic side, what you find is this is about as small as it gets. It's 376 square feet. Uh, the only difference with the lower category is uh, the Vista suite has a large back window. Uh, but this is really as small as it gets. So we've we've built more with uh, to accommodate uh, families and and uh, and connecting suites as well as some of the larger suites, which our customers really enjoy. And something that we you know, we talked about destination being uh, part of our focus. Um, one, of the, one of the destinations we feature every week is the Galapagos. We built more of the destination. So one of the things I was most delighted when I saw pictures and renderings of the ship was this hull design. I love the sleek, classic and traditional design. We're a luxury cruise line. We provide a traditional and classic experience and we take you to this beautiful destination. So I love all of the glass and I do appreciate from our shipbuilding team, the classic design of this beautiful ship. She, she was built in, in De Hoops, which is really a luxury yacht shipbuilder. And what we have here, ladies and gentlemen, is a hundred passenger luxury yacht. That's where you see me. I'm on the uh, on base camp on the Silver Origin. And here is an actual picture of base camp. And it always amazes me how 
how these architects can get so close to the renderings. What you see me behind me is a rendering and what you see on your screen is an actual photo of the space um, with these museum style cases featuring uh, artifacts on loan from the Royal Geographical Society in London. Um, really uh, special uh, artifacts and a really special place with special history and we're trying to maximize that. Now, our guides there will meet you here in the morning, tell you about the a day's expedition and, uh, and some of the wildlife that you'll be able to see. One of the really neat features of the ship is this large interactive screen. This is like a giant iPad, ladies and gentlemen. It's gonna have uh, a lot of infographics and interactive uh, menus that you can click on to learn of all the different plant and wildlife that you're gonna see at the different islands that you're gonna visit throughout your itinerary. Um, and then space, right? We wanted to bring the islands in and offer you a view from every turn. So you'll notice this glass panel in the back, that's from your bathroom. You can slide it open, then you have a view uh, outside to your balcony or through your balcony. And you also see some teak uh, flooring here inside of the room. That's because you can have your balcony be either an interior space or an exterior space in part of the outside open air. So really neat, those are called horizon balconies and available on some of uh, our mid-level veranda suites. So that's uh, really groundbreaking and new to us in particular. Now the Silver Dawn is coming soon. She'll be joining the ship in 2021. So that's three new ships in just uh, a year and a half. Uh, so we, uh, we've got lots of options. And again, continue to expand our destination portfolio as we expand the fleet. Salt Sea and Land Taste is a new culinary program. It's going to be featured on the moon. And again, the idea of trying to bring these destinations to life. As cruise lines, we've always promised you that the cuisine changes as the ship's deployment and the itinerary changes. And the truth is, it's very hard to pull that off without a dedicated galley. Well, now finally, we've dedicated a galley. We've got a dedicated kitchen, a restaurant that seats up to 200 passenger, or passengers at once. And it's dedicated exclusively on this concept to change as the ship's uh, deployment changes to give you an opportunity to really take in the flavors of the region that you're in. We've also got an interactive program that you can sign up for and go shopping uh, for some ingredients. And there's an interactive program that takes place at the Salt Lab where you'll come back and prepare some meals. And it's more than just preparation. We want you to learn about the cultures, the history, why it's important, why certain flavors are so important to a certain culture, um, as well as the salt bar, which uh, will do the same for beverages. So we're really excited. We think that this is going to be a really new concept um, and, and a different twist and, and, and total spin on the culinary programs that you find available at sea today. So destination, we take you there on a second to none luxury fleet, but what you may not have expected was the amount of value, the tremendous value that comes in luxury cruising. And for those of you that haven't done a luxury cruise yet, but sail on some of the more spacious suites in the other markets, I, I want to share with you what a difference the experience is without the constant reminder that you're still paying for your holiday with every turning day. Um, it, it is really uh, it's something to be said to be able to enjoy the third glass of wine when the waiter pours it um, without having to think about the $13 transaction that's just transpired. Um, and so when you sail on a luxury cruise line, particularly with Silver Sea, we include economy air to all of our destinations round trip. All transfers are included for you as well. Uh, our ships, we talked about their size and exclusivity and the remote access that they give us to the world. Our spacious suites, you saw pictures and renderings of those that just uh, about as good a suite as you're going to find at sea. Um, and of course, they just get bigger and bigger as we move up through the categories. Onboard gratuities are included, Wi-Fi for every guest, even in Antarctica. Imagine being able to share photos of humpback whales bubble feeding live with your family members while you're at the edge of the planet. Um, and then butler service in every category. We're the only cruise line to offer butler in every category. And it's not just an elevated title for a cabin and, and room attendant. You have a room attendant. This gentleman and, and these ladies and gentlemen are here to focus on your details and what's most important to you and take notice without having to ask. And you'll be amazed at the job they do and the dedication they have to their profession. Wines and spirits throughout. And then of course, in suite bar and dining throughout the vessels. And when you sail on expedition, uh, all of your exploration at sea is included. We go to some places where we are the infrastructure. And so everything, all of your exploration is included when you go on expedition cruises. And, uh, and when you sail to the Arctic, we send you home with a complimentary parka. And in the warmer weather, 
uh, climates will send you home with, uh, we'll, we'll have a uh, commemorative backpack and water bottle for everyone. So I'm certainly not gonna go through all thousand destinations. Ryan would kick me right off of here, um, but I, I will touch base on our home sea quickly. And I, and I love showing this grand voyage uh, for September because it really encompasses the entire Mediterranean, including into the Black Sea. Um, which is an area we hadn't been to in a while. So uh, it, it, you see here, uh, these are five segments. You can book them in any five. You, you just see the diversity in ports of call. You've got 58 days here. And the only time you repeat a port um, is if it's a, re a round trip or a turnaround port. Um, so Athens, for example, you would see it twice. Um, and, and it's just as a turnaround port, but what a beautiful city uh, to see twice. And you can see we sail all the way up into the Black Sea, going into Constanta, Odessa, um, Sochi, and going into Istanbul, back to Istanbul. We've missed Istanbul slowly. She hasn't been, it hasn't been on our itineraries for quite some time and we're, we're happy to see her back. But for those of you that wanna get away for the whole 58 days and see the entire Mediterranean in one voyage, you have an opportunity to do so here and receive additional benefits, reduced airfares from all of your gateways, uh, actually included airfares from your gateways, $1,000 shipboard spend, uh, spend exclusive sure excursions that are ex offered only to the full voyage cruisers, one night pre-hotel, uh, and baggage valet, which I think is so important. It, you, you ship your bags from your home right to the ship, and then we'll ship them back to your home. So such a huge convenience there. 58 days, 45 ports in 17 different countries. Uh, Alaska. So itinerary, right? Why do we leave from Alaska on a Thursday? May seem odd. Well, because when we call in Juneau, we want you to be one of two ships there. And the other ship may carry 100 passengers, maybe 200 passengers, but never a 5,000 passenger ship. And so that's, you know, we're sailing to the last frontier um, and, and we, we don't want it to look like a land invasion when you arrive. So um, we sail on Thursdays. That's, uh, uh, that's, uh, planning and uh, and so so that you could sail up into Seward. We run the north and south routes so to allow you to either do an extended uh, pre-night in Vancouver, uh, pre or post or Denali uh, and, and go into the interior part of Alaska and the parks uh, on a pre or post there from Seward as well. Uh, and we're running this every seven nights in in, uh, in the summer months. So please work with Bon Voyage Travel to secure your Alaska sailings. Alaska's uh, been one of the more popular itineraries. And we talked about the Baltic. Here's a great example of a 10 night that goes into, uh, into the Baltic and we spend three nights in St. Petersburg. Actually, it's two nights, three days in St. Petersburg because you arrive early morning one day. Remember, you sail right into the city. That means when you turn up the river, you see all of those beautiful cathedrals and architecture that we all see in the magazines and we flock to the city to visit. Um, and, and so this becomes the backdrop of your three days for, for your entire stay in St. Petersburg. And then of course, all of the other Baltic countries that, that uh, we all wanna visit. And, and, going into Norway and visiting Helsinki, uh, Stockholm, and then uh, a stop along the way in, uh, in Tallinn as well as Copenhagen. And some great overnights uh, available for you pre and post in Stockholm and Copenhagen as well. And no pun intended, but Iceland is really on fire. It's been such a popular destination for the last two or three years. And so we've always featured it, a big feature in our expedition product. This next year, we're sailing there on the Classic Fleet and we're doing a, uh, a, a rare circumnavigation of the island. You will do round trip Reykjavik and you'll stop at all the major ports uh, on the island. Uh, so really unique itinerary, the land of fire and ice um, and uh, a remarkable experience. I myself haven't been, but uh, I vowed to, to make it there one of these days. And then of course, here's your standard Mediterranean. We are uh, our, our home sea. Here's uh, an Italian line, our ex Italian itinerary. It does Italy, Malta and Croatia. And uh, that's 10 nights, July 27th from Rome to Venice. We're not sure um, if this itinerary is gonna go or not, but we still have it available. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, Singapore to Hong Kong, we really feel strong that we're gonna have access to Singapore and Hong Kong and all of the countries in between. <coughs> Excuse me, so uh, this 13 night is featured in today's uh, offer and uh, Ryan's team can go over. Uh, we've got an offer today that is really uh, lucrative and it's all encompassing. It, it goes across the entire deployment, uh, all destinations around the globe. And we can't be the destination leaders without featuring the World Cruise. And here it is. Uh, in 2022, the World Cruise is going to start in Fort Lauderdale. She's going to go through the Panama Canal. 
down into the Chilean fjords, around Patagonia, into Ushuaia. So you'll have an opportunity to see all those glaciers down there uh, sail into the uh, Chilean uh, fjord system, as well as into Patagonia, have some great opportunities for excursions there if you haven't been, and then sail down to the peninsula of Antarctica and actually step foot on the last continent. Um, really special experience along the way, head up, head up to South Georgia as you make your way uh, around uh, Cape, uh, Cape Horn, uh, and up through the Suez Canal, uh, and back up to the Norwegian fjords bef uh, as you make uh, your turn around Iceland and stopping in Copenhagen. So a few unique uh, aspects of this itinerary, you go through both uh, of the uh, big canals in the world. Uh, you're going to go through the Panama Canal as well as the Suez Canal. Uh, you will visit both of the major fjord systems in the world with the Chilean fjords and then the northern fjord system in Norway. Uh, and you'll also uh, come around both of the capes, um, South American Cape and, and the, uh, and the uh, African Cape. So um, really unique itinerary opportunity to see a lot of the world and then heading into the Middle East and seeing uh, some of the Holy Land, a lot of the Holy Land, most of it. So great itinerary here. This is open for sale now for 2022. So let's talk a little bit about Antarctica and our expedition product, because that really is completely different than everything else we do on Classic. We've been doing expedition now for 12 years. We are experts. We've got the best guides at sea. Uh, some of these guys are out there still conducting their own experiments uh, and writing their, their, their uh, theses uh, with us. So one of the big draws of Antarctica, penguins, right? So that's a big difference. You see penguins in the south uh, in Antarctica, and you see bear, bears up north. Um, you'll get whales in both, but you'll see hundreds, uh, if not thousands of penguins on a daily basis when you visit Antarctica. And this is how you visit Antarctica on these rubber zodiacs so that you can get up close and personal. You know, when we talk about destination immersion, it does not get any better than visiting this destination. And it, when you talk about uh, a far away place. This is as close as we can get to leaving the planet without actually leaving the planet. It, it, it really, it, it's, uh, it's been described to me as a humbling experience. You, you really realize how small we are in the grand scheme of things. Um, and so uh, a destination you should all get to. Salisbury Plain in South Georgia in particular, um, because not only will you have encounter with a few of these guys, it may get up into the tens of thousands and push right up into this colony. I like to joke and say this is our formal night on expedition um, because there aren't any formal nights on expedition, but this colony is really extraordinary. We pull right up to it. Sometimes it takes us 10, 15 minutes just to find the right place to, to land because we, we don't want to disturb them, but we can get right up to 15 to 20 feet from the edge of the colony. And they eventually start to spill out to us. And one of the neat itinerary uh, things about the itinerary in Antarctica is you spend a lot of time Zodiac cruising. And we don't give you a map with the day by day and times of where you're going to be and what landing you're going to visit. Most of your itinerary is driven by three factors. It's weather, visibility, and wildlife. Um, and the captain changes uh, the itinerary based on those three things. And one of the things that we're always looking for is the opportunity to see whales. And, and in this photo, you see our passengers were able to enjoy a pod of hump elk, uh, or hump of eight humpback whales bubble feeding. And we're doing so just underneath their zodiacs for about an hour and a half. Uh, our guides came out here, turned off the engines, and just let us drift with these magnificent animals as they were feeding it. Um, I've seen the video of it. It looked pretty neat to be there. I can only imagine. Um, so that's our Antarctica uh, experience firsthand. Uh, we have a special year coming up in 21. There's a, a total eclipse happening on December 4th. So uh, we are going to be in position in the uh, area of totality. So um, these are the two itineraries. We have a 22 night and an 11 night that will take you to see the uh, the solar eclipse. It's the most uh, the most highly anticipated minute and 54 seconds in our company's history. Um, but uh, uh, it, we're really excited. Uh, these sailings are very, very popular and we've got a lot of enthusiasts that have flocked to it. Now, for those of you that don't wanna cross the Drake Passage and and, uh, and are afraid of, of the Drake shake, so to say, or you don't have the time, to sail on an 11 day or an 18 night voyage to Antarctica, but getting to the last continent is so very important to you. We have an option. We have the Antarctica Bridge. It's a flying cruise program. Uh, you sail, you fly into Punta Arenas. Um, 
where we then fly you to King George Island. Uh, you're, you, you land on an ice runway um, and uh, you walk a quarter mile to board the Silver Explorer 144 passenger ship uh, that's going to take you around the peninsula and onto the peninsula, onto the continent for six day, six to eight day voyage, depending on the weather, before we put you back on your char business charter flight back to Punta Arenas, where you will board your international flights back home. The charter flights that we're operating to get you from Punta Arenas to King George Island um, are uh, 100 passenger ship. Uh, aircraft that we're only uh we've refitted for business class and carrying a maximum of 70 passengers we're going to be chartering two of those to take you to this destination so the antarctica bridge uh new concept for us here's what the itinerary will look like um what's all included and we're really excited to have this as part of the program um it's something that our customers have been asking here you see the high wing aircraft that we use so that we don't take in ice and snow as we land and take off uh from the continent so the Arctic, people ask me often, Joe, what's the difference between the Arctic and the Antarctic? Well, they're both cold. I could tell you that um, not as cold as you think when we sail there. We sail in the winter months south. Uh, it is their summer and we sail uh, north in our summer months as it's their summer as well. And in the Arctic, you'll find the, the beautiful walrus or maybe not so beautiful, but they're there nonetheless. We've got uh, whales and of course the polar bear, the majestic polar bear and the Arctic fox. Uh, the best way for me to describe an Arctic and an Antarctic uh, difference in, in experience is in the Antarctic, uh, we visit these animals where they live. We, we know where, where they breed. We know where the colonies are. We know where they feed. Um, and so we take you to see them. And uh, in the Arctic, it's more of an, it's a safari. It's much like an African safari. We're constantly in, in search of these animals. Uh, we know where they feed and we know where they breed, um, but they're not always there. We have to go hunting through those grounds as they do so that we can get a glimpse of them. So here's Iceland and Svalbard where you're uh, probably gonna see up to four polar bears on one given voyage. Puffin, the Arctic fox, reindeer, um, so, tons of bird species um, that you'll find in the Arctic. The Arctic is really, um, if, if you're a birder, this is the itinerary for you. You'll see some of the most uh, hard to find birds um, in the world, in the Arctic, particularly when we get to Bears Island. Um, and, and here, this is, we're just a couple of hundred nautical miles, nautical miles from uh, the North Pole. This is as far north as our ships has, have sailed. Um, really uh, impressive. And you can see here all of our passengers and their red park is all at the top um, gathered around as we go through. And this is what they're looking for. They're looking for mama polar bear and, and navigating through their ice, through the ice with their two cubs, um, teaching them how to, how, how, how to hunt uh, and look for, for seal holes. Um, it, we've got two, but we've got polar guards on board and, and one that sail, goes with you on your expeditions when you, they get to shore first. Uh, they're always on, on a lookout. And, you know, when I tell you that the itinerary is never planned, it's for moments like this. It's so that we can see this guy roaming the beach and say, let's follow him for a bit and see what he's up to. We see him walk uh, and, and hunt a seal and then actually eat him. Um, so if it's not for the faint of heart, uh, but this is what we sail to the Arctic to see. This is what the experience is all about. And we want to get you up close and personal, but not too close. Um, the, the, the Polar Guard does a really good job uh, of making sure that you, you're always safe. Uh, Zodiac cruising, such a big part of it, taking you right up to these glaciers uh, and, and seeing these big ice formations uh, much closer than what you could ever get on a ship. Um, and then Bears Island, I talked to you about Bears Island. It, it's been described like uh, this is what Jurassic Park must, must look like in real life. Um, uh, to see all of these birds that are all uh, nesting on these cliffs, um, puffins and, and cormorants and, and all kinds of different species that, that are here um, in, in these really special islands. So um, this is a, a popular stop on the Arctic. And, and one, again, if you're an ornithologist, a birder, uh, uh, strongly recommend you get to Bears Island. I, I know you've heard of it if you are. So uh, talk to you a little bit about our expedition in Galapagos. Uh, our expedition team across the globe makes the experience. These guys are the best in their field. But when it comes to the Galapagos, I've got to tell you, this is a special group. Um, first in the Galapagos, they've got very strict rules. Uh, you have to be an Ecuador 
uh, a citizen of Ecuador, um, born in Ecuador, and uh, all of our guides in the Galapagos are Galapagian. So they were actually born or are residents of the Galapagos today. Um, this is a very prestigious profession, uh, something that they go to school for a very long time, uh, and they take their profession very, very seriously. Um, it's, uh, it's so important to these guys to preserve this, this really fragile ecosystem and environment that we visit. Uh, these uh, guys are going to be able to tell you about every twig, every flower, every leaf, every bird you see and encounter throughout these islands. I mean, their knowledge is really, really extraordinary. Um, and then some of the itineraries that we feature. So we've made some itinerary changes uh, to now feature sea turtles and penguins in both of our itineraries. We have a north central and a Western itinerary. The Western itinerary was always known for the sea turtles and the penguins. Well, we're now uh, visiting uh, some of like Punta Moreno uh, and, and uh, Punta Man Mango on both itineraries to give everyone an opportunity to see the penguins and snorkel with the sea turtles. Um, so both the North Central and the uh, Western itinerary now feature the turtles and uh, the penguin. But here's what the Western itinerary looks like. Again, this is for those that are big on marine activities. We take you snorkeling a couple of times a day in this itinerary. You will see penguins, you will see turtles, you will see sea lions. Uh, and you'll also see a lot of the bird species that you go to the Galapagos to see. You'll see some of the booby species. Um, but on the North Central is where you're gonna find the hundreds of different species uh, that the Galapagos is known for. You're gonna see the albatross, you will see the blue-footed, the red-footed, uh, you will see the red frigate birds um, and, and uh, all, of the, uh, all the birds that you, that you want to see in the Galapagos so, and then what they're known for. So that's a North Central itinerary, but again, uh, by adding Punta Moreno uh, and Isabella and, and Punta Mango and Fernandina uh, were able to now feature and, and, and bring you to see the penguins and the sea, tortoise, uh, sea turtles as well. So uh, ex exciting updates there. And it's really all about nature. It, we like to say, if you can spend a day um, in a mall, walk, take a long flight of stairs or, or play around a golf, you could do an expedition cruise. Uh, and I can tell you that you, you saw in that video with the with the origin, you may have seen that that part where our expedition guide takes a sailor's grip to a passenger as he's passing him from the ship's marina onto the Zodiacs. I mean, we've got this down to a science. We've got customers that have sailed with us in their 80s and 90s have taken expedition cruises with us um, just because they can they haven't been to the Galapagos, want to get to the last continent. Uh, and here you'll see, uh, of course, the famous blue footed boobies. Um, the albatross is, he spreads his wings for the first time. You know, this is what's most important to you um, is getting out here and being able to experience this. We're the only luxury cruise line that has a Galapagos itinerary. Um, if you see a, a Galapagos itinerary on other lines, uh, they're probably chartering someone else's ship. Uh, it's a very hard uh, to get clearance to sail in the Galapagos. And actually the Galapagos National Park hasn't cleared a new operator and a new license there in almost 30 years. There's Rachel Woodward, our senior director of expedition sales, having a great time. Um, Rachel looks like she's 12 in this picture and who can blame her? She's surrounded by these three sea lions. Um, she just came up on them as she turned a corner on a beach. And this is really what, what your days are like in the Galapagos always, uh, swimming with the wildlife. Um, and a great place for, for, for you to take your family. So we have multi-generational families here. Um, this is uh, something that uh, we find a lot of kids here. We see uh, kids in our Alaska itineraries. And I mentioned we're building some of the newer ships with connecting suites to accommodate um, multi-generational families. We know that it really experiences what your next investment is gonna be, these beautiful memories, especially now, um, as you can see this penguin swimming just in front of your Zodiac. Uh, while we're taking you through the mangroves uh, and the cruising through the mangroves. So um, expedition is one of those ways to really just expand on your experiences and make those lifelong memories that you really, you'll never forget. So I'll share with you this website. It's a discover blog. Um, it really only talks about destination here. Um, there's no uh, confusing redirect to a website that's going to fill you with offers and dates. No, this is just talking to you about uh, how we sail to the various destinations that we feature throughout our itinerary. 
you have access to some of our great travel videos, I encourage you and ask you all, please go on there and explore, um, find a video about a destination that you've always dreamed of seeing and just let us take you there for a few minutes. And, and I hope that that inspires you to pick up the phone and call our friends at Bon Voyage Travel to secure your next vacation because we know we can take you to where you've never been and maybe even some places you didn't know were there yet. So Cindy, you want to talk to uh, everyone a little bit about our Cruise with Confidence program um, and what, what it means for them, those that are particularly currently booked for next year. Yes, thank you so much, Joe. Very exciting. Thank you for sharing all of that. And with our Cruise with Confidence program, I know those of you on this call work very closely with your Bon Voyage Travel Advisor. And so I'll just give you a quick overview, but please reach out to your travel advisor at Bon Voyage for further terms and conditions. But we want to make you very comfortable with planning your future travel with Silver Sea. And so what we've done with our Cruise with Confidence program is that you can cancel up to 30 days prior to embarking on a voyage, prior to the departure date of the voyage. And this way that gives you that peace of mind and ease of knowing that you're gonna have a 100% future cruise credit with Silver Sea if the cruise is canceled. And for any sailings until the end of, of, of December of 2021. So just feel very comfortable starting to dream and plan with your Bon Voyage Travel Advisor because Silver Sea will take care of you with our Cruise with Confidence program. And Cindy, I, this is what everyone's been putting up with me for the yes. last five minutes for, right? They've been waiting for what is it that is featured here today. And so, this is the offer that we made exclusively with our friends at Bon Voyage Travel. Um, it sure the, is. Yeah, it's one of the rare times when we'll feature a 5% savings across all of our voyages. And you want to tell them a little bit about some of the other savings that we'll find on this? Yes, please. So I feel like we need a drum roll or, or something. I wish we were in person at one of Bon Voyage Travel's travel fairs that they, they have annually so that we could share this with you in person. But every voyage, as Joe shared, for 2021 and 2022, Bon Voyage Travel has an exclusive offer of 5% savings. And then they have an extensive Silver Sea list of voyages that will offer you 10 or 20% savings by booking through Bon Voyage. And it's applicable on every category. And then we also, to coincide with our cruising with confidence, we also wanted to make you very comfortable with the deposit and for you to be able to confirm a voyage with us. So it's only a thousand dollar deposit for a new 2021 booking and only a 10% deposit if you book a 2022 voyage. It's fully refundable. And this special offer starts today with this presentation that we're doing and goes through November the 10th of 2020. So please reach out to your Bon Voyage Travel Advisor. Let them show you all of the wonderful voyages that, that Joe spoke about, over 900 destinations, and let us welcome you on board Silver Sea. We would really love to host you. Yeah, and so one of the things that we did early on uh, at, at this, the rise of the pandemic in May was introduced a reduced deposit promotion to the marketplace. And, and I think that that was really important. We wanted to give you all an opportunity to continue to plan like you always do. We know the planning is such a big part of the overall experience um, and it, we didn't want to keep you from that. And so we've introduced a thousand dollar reduced deposit. This is good for any voyage through 2021. Um, it's combinable with today's offer. It, when you pay your balance in full at 120 days prior, that $1,000 deposit is transformed into a $1,000 shipboard credit. Um, and, and I think that this is an important promotion because there are a lot of questions that we have yet to answer. We've got a lot of protocols that we've got yet to prove. Um, and, and we understand your hesitation on, on making a 25% investment on a deposit for a cruise that isn't sailing for quite some time. So hopefully you see some great value in this thousand dollars. And what we'll ask from you, our customers, if I may, um, you've always been so very thoughtful and, and, and courteous of our profession. And you come to us when you have a real commitment to sail somewhere. 
uh, and visit. Uh, and, and you work with the travel advisors, maybe to choose between the places that you're most interested in. But there's a real commitment from you to sail and travel. And I think that this year is different. And going into 21, it's certainly going to be different. And for you, we're asking not so much for that commitment. Rather, let's plan. Let's put that beacon of hope on your calendar. Let's use promotions like this to allow us to continue to plan like we normally do without a big commitment. And if you end up canceling later, you've got the programs like Cruise with Confidence or under this program today, it's fully refundable. So keep that in mind. Uh, we appreciate your past commitments. Uh, we appreciate uh, how, how wonderful you've been to the travel advisors and to us as a supplier, uh, but this is a different year. We want you to plan and we want you to put that beacon of hope to strive for on the calendar and we'll be here with you along the way. And then of course, there's the early booking bonus, which is our biggest promotion. Um, this still continues to perform uh, better than we expect, particularly in this, in, this, uh, in this current environment. And so we have another deadline coming up. All of our promotions are combinable with these. Stuff. So you have the $1,000 reduced deposit that turns into a $1,000 shipboard credit when you pay it in full. Um, then you have this 10% savings that's combinable with today's offer. So those dates that are featured at 20%, you combine the 10% savings if you pay it in full by October 31st, and that's a 30% savings on, some, on, 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 a price, uh, on a product like Silver Sea um, could be quite significant. So um, I, I, we hope that you all see um, the tremendous value, not just in our brand offering, but behind today's offer. Um, we built it based on three things. We want it to be a, a broad offer and significant. We want it to be simple to understand and we need it to be risk-free. And we hope that you agree that we've been able to deliver just that for you here today. So with that, Cindy, I think they're probably sick and tired of hearing me by now, Ron. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you again so much for sharing this time with us. We really so appreciate it. You bet. Thank you so much. And I don't think people are sick and tired because you were chock full of great information. Uh, I love how you presented the offer. And that is uh, exclusive to Bon Voyage, just to remind uh, our viewers and almost all of our viewers today uh, do work with one of our advisors. So they know to pick up the phone and call their advisor who is extremely familiar with this offer. Uh, and, uh, you know, not to toot your horn for you, but I will say this, we've had many a supplier partner come on our weekly webinar series. There has not been a better offer than the one that you have extended today. There's been shipboard credit offers. There's been value ads. There's been other special things. There's even been a few that have thrown a discount out there, but not to the extent of the up to 30% off. And I know there's, uh, you know, that's on select voyages and you have to pay in full. There's a few things you have to do, but isn't that worth it to get 30% off of a Silver Sea price tag? I know it would be for me. Uh, and I know one of our questions, Ray, uh, had just popped in with a question about, hey, I want to see the list of voyages. That's the one caveat. You got to call your travel advisor to get past that curtain to see the list of voyages. And if you don't have a travel advisor, pick up the phone uh, and you can reach us at 797-1110. Ray, I think I do know you. Uh, so I believe you know one of our advisors very well to pick up the phone and call. But let me shift gears just quickly before we end our time together. Joe, uh, you had mentioned early on about the inclusions that come with the Silver Sea experience. Uh, if you could touch on those again, uh, just briefly, I know some of our audience is trying to weigh and maybe uh, compare either their premium cruise experience, right, on a Princess or a Holland or a Celebrity, your sister brand, to a Silver Sea experience, uh, but also if somebody maybe is trying to compare luxury to luxury, and I know some other cruise lines do have, let's say, excursions ex included in their experience. Why or why not do you have your inclusions the way you have them? Yeah, great question. And so we, you know, we've always felt that Part of the luxury is choice, and we don't want to take too much of that choice from you. Um, and, and and so it's important that we we do leave some freedom out there, but especially when it comes to how you see these places. Um, uh, and but when we launch again, Ryan, as you know, we're going to have to we've we've committed to creating a safe bubble for your customers. So we will have featured excursions uh, at the as we set sail and return to service immediately, um, which I'm sure those programs will start to be expanded and lightened as time goes on. Speaking of some of those, and I know you may have a similar answer to this, uh, but you touched on it, and I think our audience 
hopefully is familiar. If they're not, we can go into greater detail at the advisor level. The healthy sail panel that the Royal Caribbean Group put together with the Norwegian Cruise Line Holdings Group. So we're talking seven major cruise lines and all of the resources that come with that coming together uh, to put a panel of experts and not just cruise experts, but people outside the travel industry uh, with health and wellness uh, experience at the government level. Uh, I know you touched a little bit on the, uh, the healthy sale recommendations that will be coming. One person did ask specifically, uh, La Terrazzo, which is, uh, can, can sometimes be a buffet option. Do you have any idea of what that's gonna look like or is that still yet to be determined? Yeah, great question. And so for those of you that have sailed on Silver Sea, I, I, you know, we called it a buffet, but it's more of a point at what you want and someone will bring it to your table. And, and so we're, we're, we're moving into a full service format at La Terrazzo. Outstanding. That's makes sense, I think, for all and still gives, you know, this the options. And I think that's what you're trying to say earlier on excursions. It gives people more options to have the ability to to point to what they they would like. Uh, Cindy, could you jump back in? Uh, so many of the people that we talk to uh, are are concerned about booking a cruise right now. And, and you touched on it here right at the end. But I think it is worth noting. Could you just touch on the cruise with confidence? program, give everybody the understanding again of it's not something that they will be able to, to necessarily book every itinerary with. It's only on the 2021 sailings, I believe that you said, but if you could just cover that one more time. I'm more than happy to. And please, if something isn't clear, please touch base with your Bon Voyage travel advisor. Uh, they are in contact with me and our team um, that works in inside sales. So we're all happy to help you with more details. But our Cruising with Confidence program does allow you, as Ryan mentioned, through our 2021 voyages to book with confidence. And what that means is Certainly, if, if for some reason you need to cancel for personal reasons, health reasons, et cetera, you can, but you have until 30 days prior to sailing to have 100% confidence that you'll have a future cruise credit voucher with Silver Sea. And we can give you more details and parameters with that based on your particular voyage and the embarkation day. But please feel comfortable, especially with all of these offers that we have right now, start dreaming, start planning, work with your Bon Voyage travel advisor. Let us help you have something to look forward to with Silver Sea. Excellent, thanks, Cindy. Thank you. Uh, we, we have some uh, you know, more questions that may we may not be able to provide as much detail on because it's, it's clearly a lot of them geared towards what is cruising gonna look like once the CDC and the healthy sail panel and the cruise industry come together to make some decisions. But one of the questions I believe I'm pretty confident in answering is will your ships sail at full capacity? And at some point they will, but yeah. initially I know they won't. Joe, do you wanna expand on that? Yeah, so the good, good question. Um, you're right, we will get back to full capacity uh, eventually as, as we prove that the protocols and, and that we can sustain the environment for long periods of time. Um, but we will uh, sail at a reduced capacity to stop, not too reduced. Now we, we think that we can go and sail uh, upwards of 70 to 75% occupancy. So uh, about 25% under where we would normally sail um, would be um, where the starting point is. And, and, and I couldn't help but just kind of glance at, at what the questions are. I'd be happy to try and answer as much of it as I can. You know, we, we built the, uh, the, the protocols and, and this 74 point document uh, that came from the healthy sail panel. Um, it focused on four areas and it was embarkation. Uh, it was onboard life, uh, public areas. It was public health and, and medical facilities and equipment. And then uh, what our excursions ashore look like and, and, and where, where are people uh, becoming exposed. Um, so in the first area, uh, as far as screening is concerned, we've done a number of different things. Um, uh, we are first gonna screen everyone. Everyone has to provide a test. So where, whether we have the technology to test you immediately and it has to be accurate upwards in the 99 percentile. Um, otherwise, we're looking at uh, bringing a test within uh, 48 hours, a couple of days before uh, your cruise starts. This is just some of the recommendations that came from the panel. Also, 
uh, solutions on the carpet that, that kind of sanitize uh, your, your shoes as you walk in, little details that we're taking throughout the entire ship. And it's going to differ between brands, right? What's going to happen at my parent company isn't what we're going to uh, put into place at our brand because, again, you know, we we were kind of built for this. And, and, and I really mean that when I say promise, uh, uh, the most basic promise we make you is that of space, exclusivity. We're a luxury cruise line, and that has to be part of the experience. Um, so we're going to be able to preserve most of our experience, more so than what you'd find in other markets, I, that's for sure. Yeah, and I will add to that, Joe, when I think of Silver Sea, it is the smallest ship in the luxury realm. And that, when I think of, uh, and, it, and when I say smallest ship, it's capacity that I'm talking about, the number of passengers, not the overall gross tonnage. And that's something that's important for people to think, uh, as one of our questioners uh, asked about sailing at a reduced capacity, uh, smaller number of people to start with. So when you're sailing at 70% of 600 or 70% of 358, uh, that's a whole lot smaller number to be working with, to be there to help, to, to keep sanitary. All of those things I think will be very important. Um, Cindy, uh, somebody did ask this uh, from a guest lecturer standpoint, uh, days at sea and other opportunities to learn on a Silver Sea vessel. Can you talk about those? And I know uh, there's some really good ones that you mentioned on the expedition product, but I know you have others on the, the classic fleet as well. Oh, definitely. Our lectures can range from everything from those of you who are foodies or wine aficionados. So anything from a culinary perspective, it could be architecture, it could be politics, sociology, history, and Joe mentioned ornithologists. There could be geologists. Um, a wide, wide variety. So again, don't think just because there's less guests on Silver Sea that in any way you're going to be shortchanged out of amazing lectures and days at sea with activities and events. It's just perhaps on a smaller scale, but the quality of what you're going to receive from an enrichment and educational standpoint is phenomenal. Excellent, thank you. I do know that uh, I have sailed. Uh, myself, Joe, I think you remember. And uh, if I had a chance, I would pop it up. But I've got a picture of myself with my hard hat on from the inaugural sailing of the Silver Muse when we were uh, together sailing out of Genoa in Italy and, and uh, along the French Riviera and ending up in Barcelona. Uh, what an experience on the Muse that, uh, that we did have. And I can say uh, one of my best meals at sea was at Indochine. I, I love that restaurant, very unique. Uh, Asian fusion kind of restaurant. Is that is that the right. best description I think of Indochine? Yeah. Uh, wonderful, wonderful sailing experience. So I have been on ship and can and very much attest uh, to the level of service. And and one of the things, and, and it's not just the classic fleet's fantastic. I am really excited and want to get on one of the expedition vessels. And, and you said it, and it is true the only luxury player right now that ha is going to certain destinations, the Galapagos would be the one uh, that has the luxury experience on ship with the expedition experience off ship. And, and that is something extremely special. Yeah. So and Ryan, it's not just the luxury here. platform and luxury built ships. It's the 26 years of history of delivering the best luxury experience that comes along with it. Absolutely. And there's something to be said for that experience. Uh, you know, just being around is not the case. It's learning uh, from that, enhancing and, and making it better. So uh, I think that's all of our time. I think we got to almost all of our questions today. So uh, I want to thank our guests, uh, lecturers, our experts here that came on from Silver Sea. Thanks, Joe and Cindy, for joining us and, and spreading the, uh, the exciting news about sailing on a Silver Sea voyage. I want to thank all of our attendees for joining us. Uh, we will be back in the month of November with two more lectures and two more webinars. So join us uh, for the B BBT weekly webinar series. Check our website out to find out more. That's bvtravel.com. Thanks, guys, for joining us, and we'll see you soon. Thanks again, everyone. Good night. Thank you all. Bye-bye.